Okay, we have a no cooling call here. New customer on a train XL14i. I have my kit, but I believe I'm going to need those. 14i R22 ton and a half. No warranty. Yeah, this is about 12 year old system. Let's see what we can find. All right, so this is gonna be a pretty boring call. I couldn't really hear the compressor because we're at a condo complex, really nice condos. And they have so many units running, I couldn't hear the compressor, but I did verify it with amp draw that the compressor's running. Nothing but a little ton and a half. And you can see it's R22 and we're low on refrigerant. We have a high superheat and not enough sub cooling. So before I go gassing this thing up, I'm gonna look for a leak. One big giant ass door on this train. Slant coil. Right, we got the leak detector fired up. TXV in there. Got a good leak down here at the bottom. Every time I go, see I have my probe curled and I go right there. Yep. Try to curl it in more. There we go. There it is. All right, well, I'm very confident that that's a leak. Check the back. All on the bottom. Pretty much just in that one corner. But I know I see a lot of guys here on YouTube, man. They'll take that leak detector and go back to the same spot about 20 times, and I'm just not going to do that. All right, gentlemen, I'm pulling away from the house. I apologize about the crack in my windshield there, but I'll give you guys, I'll let you guys watch the scenery while I drive. So it turns out that I have done work for this guy before because when my wife gave me the name, when she called me and told me we had another call come in and she gave me the name, uh, I thought I recognized the name, but when I got to the condos and I said, yep, he lives in those condos, 
But then when I got to the condo number that he gave me, I said, well, no, this is not him. This is not the condo he lived in. Uh, but when he came and approached me, I, I said, that is him. Anyway, make a long story short, it's his rental. Um, his condo's just a little ways down. This condo is his rental. He really likes me. Uh, I believe I did a video on his job. It's me replacing a Luxair coil uh, probably about a year ago. I can try to put that, you know, one of them end cards here of that video for y'all. Anyway, so uh, the reason I cut the video short on that running the leak detector is because he walked in as I was talking. So the unit's out of warranty. Uh, two years ago, it, the warranty stopped at 18. And train, you know, we're a distributor state. We're not a direct state like Mr. Ted Cook. We have a distributor and they are very proud of their train products and parts and when i say proud i don't mean like proud to sell it which they are but they're very proud to price it sky high also so i have to give this man three options well actually first of all he said look call train use your best judgment if you think the price is too high let's at least put an air handler so that if train is just completely out of whack with the price on the coil, we're gonna do at least an air handler and leave the XL14i, but I'm also going to quote him a new condenser also with the air handler, a new ream system inside and out with a 10 year warranty. And uh, he said that would be fine. He said just if, he said if train it has it priced right though, we'll just replace the coil, which I, I totally get that, but I'm, pretty positive train's gonna want at least $800 for that coil over here. And uh, I can buy an air handler cheaper than that. So, um, we'll definitely do a new air handler unless train just surprises me or we're gonna do an entire system. We'll leave it up to him. So, thanks for watching guys. We'll see y'all on the next one.